finally, at last, we are finally putting this into an end. What's up everyone, this is Rather Night One here at your service, and today we are going to do the top 10, top 5, and another top 5, well actually top 15, for top 15 favorite mini games, top 10, so so mini games, and top 10 worst mini games, or hated mini games. Now, clearly though, though, this will actually be starting off from occasionally to where we're going to start off with what's good and what's bad. Because as a kid, though, I actually grew up with this game all the way from middle school straight over to high school. And I grew up a lot with these kind of games. Do I hate any of the Mario Party 4 games? Mm, not really. I mean, I've been playing a lot of these kind of mini games. They were pretty good. But there are some occasions to where where certainly there are some bad mini games they'll just sneak right under your nose and they'll actually take you by surprise. So, I like to thank everybody for a very very being patient though of waiting to see what are my top 15 favorite mini games, top 5 so-so mini games and top Five worst mini games. And as usual, as always, though, if you kind of like these mini games, that's perfect. That's great. It's just my city personal opinion. I mean, everybody's got personal opinions. I mean, some of us, we kind of get judgy a lot, though. And I don't like it how when people get so judgy, mental, though, for bad occasions. And as that being said, we can get started right now. So, for today, I am going to start off with, one of a kind, Top 5 Worst Mario Party Mini Games. Why don't we get started, shall we? Let's begin! Woohoo! Number 5! The Great Deflate. This mini game? Oh man, don't get me started with this mini game. This mini game is just too easy! All you have to do is just keep ground pounding the mini game. You have to keep ground pounding these little flops, though. I mean, come on. You have to do is just beat the clock, though, and you can easily beat the AIs like it was nothing. Even in its hard mode. Just keep mashing A. Just keep pressing A once, and then press A again. Then press A one more time, and then press A again and again. You're just racing completely to see who's actually winning the game even more and who's better at it. This mini game is boring. It's easy, it's simple, it goes to number 5, it's kind of not too bad, but, however, it's just plain boring. I can just do this on my sleep, and I can easily just finish this minigame like it was just nothing. And, well, this game is just too easy. No challenge. Moving on. Number 4. Goomba's Coin Flip. This is actually one of those luck-based mini-games, though, where no people actually like. Goal here is to get 50 points more than your opponent, and whoever reaches the 50 points in the mini-game wins the game. This mini-game, I always have to base get lucky on it. Have a negative 3, a negative 5, and a negative 10? You want to actually get the best numbers here and not get the worst numbers. It's Fairly sometimes based on luck though on which coins they're hidden. And the greater number, which is 20, is actually easier to sometimes get lucky on. Whoever gets that 20 actually obviously wins the game by default. This game is not that terrible. Wait, it is kind of a bit terrible, but it's not that good either, because most luck based mini games is that you have to generally get lucky at all times. And no matter what you do, you're always running in circles, though, to try and beat that minigame. Number 3. Mystic Matchem. This is the hardest minigame I could never, ever beat. Even when I battled against Boo. This minigame was so hard, though. 
So, it's another luck-based minigame, but instead you're trying to match the icon instruments from the deck of cards, and hopefully you can actually get lucky. The trick here is that in so much hardness though, sometimes the AI can actually cheat in the game, finding the perfect match or get lucky correct by choosing the correct card correctly and getting the match the AI wanted. There are some occasions to try and screw the AI over just by getting the same matches your AI is matching, your rival is matching, or getting up with a boo and of course screwing everything else. Now, please be advised though that for the first time I played this game, the first time, I got screwed by boo, he beats me over and over and over and I couldn't even get lucky. I couldn't even get the right cards I wanted because they're so hidden, it's difficult to tell which cards will actually be the right card to match all three you wanted, or get screwed by a random boo, or get screwed from an AI that would beat you. Number two. Oh, I'm going to get a lot of hate comments on this. Mario Medley. All right. Before you start throwing them angry comments or some di dislikes there, hear me out. This minigame is hard. It's not because, though, it's the best minigame, but it's because, though, it's so hard, though, that the, uh, the buttons they tell you, though, it drains your heart meter down. I just, I can't tell you, though. And how many times though I try to push the correct undercut though, it drains my heart a lot faster. I try to push A and B together, it drains my heart a lot faster, and I'm not actually pressing it fast. I'm staying in a proper tempo. But what's not fair though, is that the AIs have a better advantage. I get screwed by harder AIs though, that have plenty of hearts, but I have very low hearts, and I couldn't even beat the AIs. So, I don't like this minigame. I can lose constantly over to the AIs, over and over and over, and I can't seem to outclass them. If you're having the same problem as I am, you know how I feel. And well, if you're lucky, you're lucky. The only goal here is to get through the end of the game with the complete time and just win and win and win with only the three commands. If you could beat the AIs properly and keep your health at, at all times, you are a really clever player. I can't even tell though if you just have to just hold it down or you can get screwed or the game just screws you over by telling you you're pushing it too far or you're just matching it too hard. So, I consider this as the number two worst Mario Party 4 minigame. So now, we are going to get to the number one. But as always, I'm going to give a shout out to Rapid Luigi because he has the same point as I do. So, the number one worst minigame for Mario Party 4 is... Number one, Candlelight... Fight. This minigame is hell hard. This is actually a worse occasion for one versus three. If you're a solo player, you have to navigate your way through and make sure, though, that you do not get hit five times by the AI or your rival team. To survive, though, you have to stay longer when the timer hits zero. If you get hit five times, it's game over. The AIs can, the other team can actually screw the single player over just by trying to navigate through the way. You would have to either get lucky big time or you had to cleverly figure out the pathway to not get caught. And I'll tell you one thing though, certain AIs cannot make it through well with this kind of minigame because it's 3 versus 1, you're just sprinkling water on them. And I consider this a not fair fight though. Because, how do I put this? Five chances, small room, three guys hit you with the water, anything else? 30 seconds, 
This game has an unfair advantage. There are countless flaws, I can tell you though, that you are not going to actually make it through there if you're the candle holder, or you have to get lucky to make it through, or if you're one of those water gun people to try and get the AI or the rival, so, and try and win the game. And if you do manage to actually make it through, make it through 30 seconds through this mini game without getting caught. Well, actually, no. If you make it through this mini game with like one to five less hits left, or navigate it through Pac-Man style, then you're obviously a very lucky player, and you manage to actually win the game. I can agree with Rabbit Luigi in this. Shout out props goes to you, good sir. This minigame is really, really hard. And if you don't believe me, try it out yourself. See how we feel. See how hard this is. Play hard mode on these AIs. Because this minigame is really hard. So I would consider this one, this minigame, this bad minigame, to be the number one worst minigame in Mario Party 4. Boy, I am so grateful we are done. But don't forget though, there are other good mini games to actually go for. I mean, there are some good mini games out there that still we all love very much so much in our hearts. These mini games were great, and there are some mini games that have some so so. So for right now, tune in next time to see what top five so so mini games in Mario Party 4. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and see if you want more. I'm Red the Night One, signing out.